Hello and welcome back. So in this tutorial, we'll be looking at another question based on conditional trigonometric identities. So here we are given the condition as usual that sum of three angles A, B and C is equal to pi radian. So with the help of this condition, by using this condition, uh, we have to at first take the left hand side of this equation and try to solve for our right hand side. So at first, let us look for the condition given. So here is our given condition, a plus b plus c equals to pi radian. Now let me subtract c on both sides of the equation. So this results a plus b is equal to pi radian minus c. Now what I'm going to do is at first I'm going to operate this condition, this equation first by sine and then by cos. So on operating by sine, I have sine a plus b equals to sine pi radian minus c and we know that sine pi radian minus c is equal to sine c so we can say sine a plus b is equal to sine c now let me operate the same equation by cos so we have cos a plus b is equal to cos pi radian minus c so this simply gives minus of cos c cos pi radian minus c is equal to minus of cos c now let me take the left hand side of this equation so here is my left hand side of the equation now what I'm gonna do is just a simple rearrangement I'm going to bring plus cos c right over here and then take minus of cos b at last now I'm gonna use the formula for cos c plus cos d where c is 2a and d is 2c so cos c plus cos d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 dot cos c minus d by 2 and on applying the same formula here i have 2 cos c plus d by 2 dot cos c is 2a so c minus d is 2c divided by 2 and then minus cos 2b now what we can do cos 2a plus 2c divided by 2 is simply if I take 2 common then I can cancel 2 on numerator and denominator and finally I have cos a plus c dot cos here I have cos a minus c minus and then cos 2b now instead of cos a plus c what I can write is from this from this condition we can write cos a plus c is equal to minus of cos b so here I can write minus cos b dot cos a minus c I'm going to write it as it is minus and then for cos 2b I'm going to apply the formula 2 cos squared b minus 1 so let me multiply minus with this 2 so minus 2 cos b dot cos a minus C minus let me distribute this negative sign as well so 2 cos squared B and then minus and minus 1 is equal to plus 1 now let me take minus 2 cos B common from this two expression and then I have cos A minus C and then plus cos B and finally plus 1 now let's look for what we can do we have here minus cos b minus 2 cos b and minus sorry cos a minus c and for cos b if we look here then we can just multiply both side by minus and then we have minus cos a plus b is equal to cos b so for this cos b i can write minus cos a plus c and then I have plus 1 now I'm going to apply the formula cos C minus cos D which is equal to 2 sine C plus D by 2 dot sine D minus C by 2 so here on applying the same formula what we have is 2 cos C plus D by 2 is A minus C this is C and this is d a plus c by 2 dot cos 
d minus c by 2 d is a plus c d minus and then c is a minus b and then divided by 2 and finally you have here plus 1 once again I can multiply these two twos here and I have 2 times 2 is 4 cos b dot I can get rid of positive c and negative c so that I have cos a plus a which is 2a divided by 2 which is simply cos a and then here if I distribute a plus b this negative sign if I distribute here then I have minus a and then plus b so I can get rid of this 2a so that I have cos c plus c divided by 2 which is simply cos c and finally I have plus 1 also sorry here it should be sine not cos so here should be sine so here we have sine a and then we have sine c so after rearranging this term we have 1 minus 4 sine a dot cos b my dot sine c and this is our right hand side this is what we have to show what we have to prove in this question i hope it's clear to you and thanks for watching